हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक पीडीएफ फॉर्म्स और एडोबी फॉर्म्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी फिनिश्ड विद द लॉजिक पार्ट एंड वी डिक्लेयर्ड ऑल इंटरनल टेबल वर्क एरियाज एंड वी क्रिएटेड ए इंटरफेस फॉर द सेम नाउ वी विल गो फॉर लेआउट डिजाइनिंग from the starting itself we are putting so much stress that layout designing is totally totally separate in case of pdf forms or adobe forms so i'll go to sfp transaction code and we will start with the designing of the layout now i will choose the radio button now form i will give some name to the form suppose z adobe sales underscore i will give some serial number i will click on to create button now i will give the description pdf form for sales order details now i will pass the name of the interface which we created so we discussed already that firstly you need to create a interface then you need to use that interface while designing the pdf form so this is the interface which we created a bab dictionary based interface which we created i will save it as a local object now this is our screen for the pdf form or adobe form so we have three tabs here properties context and layout we'll go for all these three tabs one by one firstly i will go to properties tab now what is properties tab properties always give the generic information of your form generic information means what is the description of your form so what is the interface you used in the form this is the interface which we passed it is created by which particular user at what date at what time you stored into which package so all this generic information you can see in the property step now we will go for most important next topic whenever you are going for designing of adobe layout or pdf layout we have four types of layout types we have two separate topic if you remember previously we covered we have three types of interfaces a bab dictionary based interface xml schema based interface and smart form compatible interface now we are talking about the layout type whenever you are going for designing of pdf form or adobe form what are the various layout types so we have four layout types first one is standard layout second one is zci layout third one is xacf layout and the fourth one is unknown layout type and if you see by default standard layout is tick now we will go for explanation that in which scenario which layout type is applicable firstly i will go for standard layout which by default is coming also now what is standard layout whenever you want to print your pdf form whenever you want to email your pdf form and whenever you do not want to integrate your form into webden pro you should always always prefer standard layout it is clearly saying whenever you want to print your form whenever you are going for any offline scenario in which you are only emailing your form and you are not 
integrating your form in Web10 Pro at runtime, you should always, always prefer this standard layout. You want to go for print. You want to go for archive. You want to go for email. And you are not integrating your layout into Web10 Pro. You should always prefer this layout type. Now I will go for second layout type. The second layout type is ZCI. This ZCI stands for zero client installation. You should use this layout type whenever you want to integrate your form into Web10 Pro applications at runtime. Whenever you want to integrate your form into Web10 Pro applications at runtime, you should use zero client installation layout type. Now we have the third layout type is XACF layout. The full form of ACF is Active Component Framework Technology. This ACF stands for Active Component Framework. You should use this layout type whenever you also want to integrate your form at runtime in Web10 Pro application. So you should use this XACF layout type whenever you want to integrate your form in Web10 Pro application at runtime. But for this, your ActiveX must be enabled in the browser. In case of zero client installation, zero client installation, there is no such prerequisite for enabling of ActiveX in the browser. But if you are going for XACF, your ActiveX should be enabled in the browser. The fourth layout type is unknown layout type. Now, what is this unknown layout type? This type has not classified yet. This form has not yet classified. Now, suppose we are creating a form and we are editing a form which is created with an older version of SAP NetWeaver. If we are creating a new form or if you are editing a form using older version of SAP NetWeaver, then in that case, you have to use this layout type. Out of this all four layout types, the most preferred is standard layout. Because generally, when we are going for printing of form, we are going for emailing of form. These are our most common scenarios of the project. So we are maximum time using standard layout type. I'll just go for brief introduction again. We have four layout types. First one is standard layout type. You should use this layout type whenever you want to print your PDF form, whenever you want to go for any offline scenario in which you are only emailing your form and you are not integrating your form into Web10 Pro. In that case, you have to go for standard layout. ZCI layout is zero client installation layout type in which you are integrating your form into Web10 Pro at runtime. The third one is XACF. This is also we are using whenever you want to integrate your form in Web10 Pro at runtime. Yes, the prerequisite for third is your browser must have ActiveX enabled. The fourth layout type is unknown layout type. Whenever you are creating a form or adding a form, with the older version of SAP NetWeaver, in that case, you can go for this particular layout type. Now, I will move on to second tab. Our second tab is context. Context. Now you can see, you can clearly, clearly see in the context tab, you are able to see two sections. This is your interface. And this is your Adobe form. You can say this is our name of the interface. This is our name of the Adobe form. And you can see the import parameter 
all global internal table work areas and you can see few system variables are also coming automatically. Now this is the next important point which we have to put stress. If you remember, we created a BAP dictionary based layout. Whenever you are creating a, sorry, a BAP dictionary based interface. If you remember, we created the a BAP dictionary based interface. I'm talking about interface. We created a BAP dictionary based interface. This ABAP dictionary based interface we are using while designing the layout. And you can see whatever is in the interface, all parameters are automatically coming. In addition to that, we are getting four system variables also there. You can see what are those four system variables, date, time, username and sub rc so if someone asks you whenever you are using a bap dictionary based interface which system variables are automatically able to see in the context tab answer is date time username and sub rc and you can see the pdf form system variable starts with sfpsy sfpsy now, what is context? The context step where your actual data resides, where your data is residing. So whatever is required, you can simply, simply drag and drop those things from the interface to your Adobe form. Yes, because it is not the case but that whatever is in the interface, we require each and everything in the Adobe form. So whatever is required, you can simply drag and drop those things. So well, we require this input parameter. So I'll simply put the cursor drop. Now I require all the global data means all the internal table and work areas. So I will simply drop. Now, as of now, I do not require any system variable. If it is required, I will drop those also. So just you can see the importance. You created the interface once, one time, and you can use into several number of PDF forms or Adobe forms. So I'll just go for the summary, what we learned in this particular video. We are we are creating a pdf form so we gave some name to the pdf form or adobe form and we used the interface whatever the interface we created we discussed we have four types of layout types standard layout zci layout xacf layout unknown layout type now in the context tab the context tab is that tab where your actual data resides, your data resides. So whatever is required, you can simply drag and drop from interface to your PDF form. You can see two sections are here. So whatever is required, you can simply drag and drop those things from interface to your Adobe form. Whenever you are using a, a BAP dictionary based interface, four system variables are automatically appearing date time username and sub rc rest part will continue in the next video thank you